Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you WLAN protocol means Wi-Fi protocol that is also referred as IEEE 802.11 protocol. Before we see exact working of it, let me show you how many things that I am going to explain in this video. So first, I will be explaining you basics of WLAN protocol. Then I will explain you how many versions are there with Wi-Fi protocol. Then I'll explain you IEEE 802.11 protocol stack means Wi-Fi protocol stack that I'm going to discuss over here. Then I'll explain you Wi-Fi architecture. So there are basically two types of architecture with Wi-Fi. I'll explain you both of that structure in complete details. And then I'll explain you frame format of Wi-Fi. So that many things that I'm going to cover in this video. Let us see first how many basics are there with Wi-Fi protocol. So when it comes to basics of WLAN protocol, then you should know it is also referred as IEEE 802.11 protocol. And this is what the protocol which we use it in Wi-Fi. Here media access control that is done by CSMACA. See here carrier sense multiple access that is done. But along with collision avoidance we are doing it. So when I have explained that CSMACA at that time I have told you like CSMACA that we use it for Wi-Fi, right? If you have seen my previous video, based on CSMACA at that time I have told you this is what we are using it for wireless medium and this protocol that we use it in Wi-Fi. In wireless communication there are two issues. One is hidden terminal problem, second is exposed terminal problem. And that we can resolve by TSMACA in which we do RTS CTS signaling. And along with flowchart, I have explained how this RTS CTS signaling that is happening. I request you to go through that video. After that, I think you should see this video that will give you better clarity. So now let us see the basics first. So in WLAN protocol, we will be using CSMACA protocol in that normally we will be using acknowledgement but to resolve hidden terminal issue or exposed terminal issue we will be using RTS CTS signaling that is optional right and in flowchart I have explained that. See here channel will be air and in air we will be transmitting signal at frequency 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. At 2.4 gigahertz we are having 3 channels and at 5 gigahertz we are having 23 channels. These channels are non overlapping channel with the width of 20 megahertz. So here in Wi-Fi we are having 2 frequencies. One is 2.4 gigahertz earlier version that were been having 2.4 gigahertz. After that with upgraded version now Wi-Fi comes with 5 gigahertz as well. At 5 gigahertz, there are 23 channels and those are non-overlapping channel with width of 20 megahertz. Let me give you some case studies over here. Like as if I say one channel, channel number 1 that is happening at 5 gigahertz, right, then its width is 20 megahertz. So you can say this is center frequency, right. So it will be having frequency range from 5 gigahertz to 5.02 gigahertz. The 0 0.02 that is 20 megahertz. So one channel that is having this frequency range. Second channel that will be starting from 5.021 gigahertz and we will be adding 20 megahertz with it. So 5.04 gigahertz. So see this is how non overlapping uh, width that will be there with 23 channels and here because of 23 non-overlapping channels are there you will be observing with new Wi-Fi technology you are having better speed. So now let me explain you how many versions are there with Wi-Fi. So when it comes to various versions of Wi-Fi then earlier version was having frequency 2.4 gigahertz with channel width of 20 megahertz and maximum data rate that was 2 Mbps. But with respect to time, varieties of versions that have came 
and along with 2.4 gigahertz nowadays 5 gigahertz that is also added and if you observe initially channel width was 20 megahertz but nowadays with new versions you will be having channel width that is that can go up to 160 megahertz and because of that maximum data rate that is increasing you can observe over here earlier version was having maximum data rate with 2 mbps but nowadays you can achieve up to 2.4 gbps right and that is happening because of multiple channels are available as well as channel bandwidth you see compared to 20 megahertz now it can go up to 160 megahertz so because of varieties of versions available nowadays you will be observing we are having faster access of wi-fi now let us move on to next point now i'll explain you how user can access internet using wi-fi so for that let me take one practical case study in which one computer is connected with this router via wireless connection so this wireless connection that will happen with wi-fi protocol that is i triple e 802.11 protocol and this router is connected with wired connection over here so this wired connection that will happen as per ethernet protocol so that is i triple e 802.3 protocol right now first of all you need to understand what is happening with wireless connection so here this user will be asking for request let us say you want to use youtube over here so at application layer you will be using youtube and then layer by layer data will be converted into packets over here after network layer and that packet that will be given to data link layer here at data link layer there will be mac protocol at this data link layer there will be mac protocol mac means media access control and that will be as per csma ta carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance right and after this mac control with physical layer will be transmitting frames and those frames that will be transmitted over here as per wireless connection now here this router will receive this wireless frame over here right means via air it will be receiving frames so first it will go to physical layer then it will go to data link layer in data link layer here there will be media access control that will be happening as per csmaca then there will be network layer in some books you will be observing they are writing this network layer as logical link control llc so that is even fine right now i am showing it as per osi model right you can show it as per that tcp ip model even there is no issue with that now if you observe here logical link control now that is getting transferred to this wired connection right now this connection that should be there with wired connection over here so here router is having wired connection as well right so here this wired connection now that is getting transformed to this data link layer this data link layer that is having mac control that is having mac control that is as per csma cd right as it is wired connection and then physical layer will be there and in physical layer you may have optical cable you may have ethernet cable right and then you will be using final terminal so in final terminal as these layers are there similarly over here there will be layers so here protocol stack explains you how we are accessing layers like here if you observe we are starting from application layer and we are going up to physical layer in physical layer we are having wireless medium over here so for this wireless medium we will be having media access control at data link layer as per csma ca as this is wireless connection and as this is wired connection here data link layer will be having media access control that will happen as per csma cd cd means collision detection here things will be there in terms of collision detection and here in wireless connection you will be having collision avoidance so that is how protocol stack is there now i'll be explaining you how wi-fi architectures can be there so in wi-fi architecture we are having two types of services one is bss and second is ess 
BSS means basic service set. In basic service set, we are having two categories. One is ad hoc network and second is infrastructure network. Let me explain you first how ad hoc network is there. See in ad hoc network, all these stations can communicate with each other without central access controller or you can say access point. So with this BSS, there is no central access controller or you can say access point. While with infrastructure network, if you observe here we have access point. So if this station wants to communicate with this station, that will happen via this access point. Right. So this is how infrastructure network is there. Like for example, at your home, if multiple mobiles are connected with Wi-Fi, then you can say there is Wi-Fi router which is access point. So that network will be infrastructure network. Right, but as if multiple mobiles are connected with each other via Wi Fi hotspot, so in that there is no central access controller. So you can say that comes under the category of ad hoc network. Now, let me explain you extended service set that is ESS. See, in extended service set, two or more BSS are connected via distribution system. Like if you observe here, this is one BSS. This is second BSS and here this is third BSS. So if you observe, this is what access point, right? So these access points are connected with distribution system. Now here, what happens is like for example, this station and this station both are there with same BSS. So if this station wants to communicate with this station, then that will happen via this access point over here. But as if this station wants to communicate with the station which is there in some other BSS like with this station then what will happen then this station will communicate with this access point then it will be communicating with this distribution system from distribution system now access point will communicate with this station that is how communication will happen so how this extended system is there that you need to understand along with frame format here distribution system that is just giving a way via which how communication can happen right but there will be definitely addressing so how addressing will happen so all those things that i'm going to cover in next point that is frame format now i'll explain you frame format of wi-fi and as i'm coming in between i think i should go out of this frame so here let us see how this frame format is there so first of all we will be focusing on frame control bits so there are two bytes with this frame control and with this frame control further there are multiple fields let us try to understand the meaning of each field first is protocol version so usually you will be observing this protocol version that stays 00, 0 and this is what provided over here to allow future versions of ieee 802.11 protocol so whenever future version will come for that these two bits are there you can say those are reserved bit for future format frame then there are two bits for type see these two bits that explains you which type of frame is this this frame may be of management type frame it may be of control frame or it may be of data frame so as per 00 it indicates this is management frame as if it is 01 it will be control frame as if it is 10 it will be data frame then subtype is there with four bits that explains how many subtypes are there so here in total four subtypes that is available see as if this four bits that is 1011 then it indicates rts subtype rts means request to send as if it is 1100 then it explains cts subtype cts means clear to send as if it is 1101 then it says this given subtype of frame that is of acknowledgement and as if it is 0000, 0, 0, 0, then that is data frame, right? That is normal data frame. See this RTS and CTS that I have explained in my video of CSMACA, collision avoidance, right? So in CSMACA, I have explained this RTS and CTS signaling in great detail. I request you to go through that video first. Now, here let us try to understand. 2DS and from DS. 
तो हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज डीएस सी डीएस मींस एक्सिस पॉइंट और डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव सिस्टम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव सिस्टम इफ यू हैव सीन दैट आर्किटेक्चर तो इन दैट आई हैव टोल्ड यू सी वी आर हैविंग एक्सिस पॉइंट एंड वी आर हैविंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम तो हियर हियर वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन एग्जांपल लाइक for example this station that is sender and this station that is a this station is receiver now this station will be sending frame to access point first then this access point will send frame to distribution system then inside distribution system it will be forwarded via nodes then it will come to this access point then this access point will forward frame to this station right so here this frame is transferred over here via multiple nodes so at which location this frame is there that you can identify based on this 2ds and from ds bit so here here let me show you here as if you talk about this case as if you talk about this case so here frame is coming from here to here so it is coming from station and it is going to ap right so you can say here 2ds that bit is equals to 1 and from ds means it is coming from station so that is equals to 0 right now you will get to know about this two bits when i explain you address fields so at that time you will be having bit more clarity now when we talk about more flag then see this more fragmentation that is how meaning is there with this one bit it means if this bit is equals to 1 then it indicates more fragments to follow over here right so this bit indicates more fragments to follow this retry bit that gives you idea about whether retransmitted frame is there or not for example if collision is happening or you can say if frame is corrupted then you will be re retransmitting that frame so during retransmission of frame this bit that will be equals to 1 then next bit is power management bit see if sender is operating with power saving mode then it will make this bit is equals to 1 as if sender is operating with power saving mode then it will make this bit is equals to 1 then see next bit is more data bit that explains you sender is having more frames for receiver so as if sender wants to send more data then it will make this bit is equals to 1 then wep bit is there so this this bit explains cryptography or you can say encryption pattern over here so wep means what wired equipment privacy so as if this bit is equals to 1 it indicates that given frame is encrypted frame and last bit that is order bit it explains you if it is equals to 1 then that given frame that should be there in order so if given frame is there in sequence order then this bit that will be equals to 1 so that is how this frame control field is there now next is duration field see this duration field that specifies the time period for which frame and acknowledgement occupy the channel so here this duration field that specify total time period for frame and its acknowledgement right so for how much duration it will occupy the channel that has been indicated by this two bytes then we are having address 1 address 2 address 3 and address 4 this is quite interesting here if you observe that is having direct relation with 2 ds and from ds i have told you ds means ds means access point or distribution system so as if it is 0 0 as if it is 0 0 then what will happen then what will be this address is so first of all you need to understand what is the meaning of 0 0 with 2 ds and from ds let me show you it practically over here so here as if i say we are having this station and this station now if this two station are communicating via one frame right so here if you observe from this station to this station we are transferring frame so from from station we are transmitting to station we are transmitting so from station and to station so here this two bits this two bits that will be 
as here there is no access point right so this two bits that will be zero zero so in that case if you observe in that case no access point will come into the picture so how many addresses that we need to have here base station address and from ds and to ds so address of this two station and base station id that we need to have so here so here here what will happen as if this two bits that is 0 0 then address 1 will be of destination address this address address 2 that will be of source and address 3 that will be dss id and address 4 is not applicable now you see to ds and from ds if it is 0 1 then what will happen so first of all you need to understand what is that case so here see 2 ds 2 ds see 2 ds that is 0 right means uh, uh, means here from ds is 1 means here ap is sending it so from ds so here see when this trans when this transition is happening so from ap and to station that is happening so from ds from ds from ds that is equals to 1 and to ds that is equals to 0 right so here if you observe when this transmission happens from this station to this station at the time when this frame is available here at the time it will be giving which address to ds that is equals to 0 and from ds that is equals to 1. So at that time at that time if you observe here addresses then first address that will be of destination second address will be of sending ap and third address that will be of source you see here first address that will be of destination second address that will be of source ap and third address that will be of this station right as this station is initiating transmission right and fourth address that is not applicable here now when it is about 2 ds and from ds that is equals to 1 0 at that time you should know 2 ds means 2 ap and from ds means from station right as it is 0 over here. So, you see that is a case of this where you see here from station means from 0 and 2 AP. 2 AP means 2 1, 2 DS is equals to 1, right. So, this is what the scenario where first address that will be of station, first address that will be of station, sorry, first address that will be of uh, receiving AP and second address that will be of source and third address that will be of destination and fourth will be not applicable and when it is 1 1 at that time and when it is 1 1 at that time both of this ds that should be access point or distribution system so that comes at this category you see from ap to distribution system so from ap to distribution system in this scenario both will be 1 1 right so at that time at that time receiving ap sending ap destination and source that is how all four addresses are occupied over here right now when it comes to next field that is sequence field that is of two bytes that explains you sequence number of given frame and this sequence number that is used to avoid duplication of frames as well as it is used to have reception of frames in order right then we are having data field there can be 0 to 2 3 1 2 number of bytes so this many data that is possible along with this frame and at last 4 byte checksum is there and this 4 byte checksum that we have for error detection right so this is how entire frame format is there and if still anything that you would like to share it with me Please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.